slap ham. Ten unexplainable mysteries from the past. From mysterious underwater temples to a book written in an unknown language, we take a look at ten unexplainable mysteries from the past. First discovered in 1900, the Antikythera mechanism is the world's first known analog computer. Comprising of at least 30 bronze gears, this ancient gadget is believed to have been built as far back as 205 BC. This complex device was found in a small wooden box recovered from the Antikythera shipwreck off the Greek islands, and was designed to predict astronomical positions and solar eclipses. Technology this sophisticated did not reappear until the advent of mechanical clocks in Europe some 1500 years later. First discovered by non-American natives in the 1930s, the Blythe geoglyphs are a series of giant figures carved into the ground in the Colorado Desert, California. The largest carving is of a humanoid and measures 52 meters, which is around 171 feet in length. Establishing an age for the carvings has proved difficult, with experts suggesting that the images were likely created sometime between 900 BCE and 1200 CE. Nearby, another geoglyph site known as the Topic Maze consists of a series of parallel lines built of stone, covering a space of 73,000 square meters, which is around 18 acres. American ethnologist Edward Curtis believes the maze was spiritually significant to the people of the area and was used by Mojave Indians to lure and trap evil spirits. <coughs> The Sajama lines located in Bolivia consist of thousands of paths cut through the local landscape. Remarkably, these paths are almost perfectly straight despite being cut through harsh terrain. Covering an area of nearly 22,525 kilometers, scientists believe these linear walkways were carved into the ground continuously for more than 3,000 years by the local people of the area. The longest individual paths are more than 20 kilometers in length and, if laid end to end, it is believed that the paths would cover a distance of around 16,000 kilometers, which equates to about three times the width of the United States. Little is known of their purpose, but some believe they may have marked sacred sites or had some kind of astronomical meaning. Dating back to the Bronze Age, the White Horse of Uffington in Oxfordshire, England measures an impressive 110 metres, which is around 374 feet in length. The horse is best seen from the air and is made of crushed white chalk laid in several ditches, which contrasts against the green hillside. Little is known about the origins or significance of this mysterious marking, leading to much speculation as to how the people of the area created this image some 3,000 years ago. Written in the early 15th century, the mysterious Voynich manuscript is a book written entirely in an unknown language. The text, which reads left to right, is believed to have been written in northern Italy during the Renaissance. Some pages are missing, but the book still contains about 240 pages, which include intricate drawings and sketches. Based on the images, the book appears to be divided into several sections or chapters about herbs, astronomy, biology, cosmology, pharmacology, and recipes. The text has been studied by countless cryptologists including both British and American codebreakers from World War I and World War II. To date, no one has been able to decipher the mysterious secrets this book holds. Similar to the lines discovered in Sajama, the Nazca Lines of Peru incorporate a network of near-perfect straight paths traversing great distances. The Nazca Lines, however, also include several very large figures carved into the local terrain. A monkey, spider and hummingbird are among the images which also include several ocean animals such as a whale and a shark. Believed to be created sometime between 500 BCE and 500 CE, these images are astonishingly detailed with the largest measuring 200 meters which is around 660 feet across. It is believed that these images may have had religious significance acting as markers or even earthly representations of celestial constellations. Built by the inhabitants of Easter Island between the years 1250 CE and 1500 CE, these gigantic stone statues are shrouded in mystery. The 887 statues in total range in size and weight, with the tallest being almost 10 meters, which is around 33 feet high, and the heaviest weighing in at a mind-boggling 86 tons. The statues were placed around the island's exterior at various sites and are believed to have symbolized protection over the tribes of the island. 
The most baffling mystery is how these statues were moved from the stone quarry to their final resting places many miles away. Scientists believe that the massive stone carvings remained upright and were walked into position. Using ropes and a push-pull motion from the sides, constant force was applied from the front, allowing these giants to step their way across the island. In modern-day Turkey, a recently uncovered site known as Gobekli Tepe has archaeologists very confused. This mysterious site comprises of about 20 circles made up of more than 200 stone pillars, some weighing as much as 20 tons. The site dates back to 10,000 BCE and predates the invention of the wheel, writing, pottery and even farming, and is older than Stonehenge by more than 7,000 years. The discovery proves that hunter-gatherers had the means to build monumental stone complexes, a feat that was previously thought to have only been accomplished after the invention of farming techniques. It has been suggested that it may have been created for religious purposes and that the construction was overseen by priest-like figures. Scientists remain baffled as to how the 500 or more strong workforce were fed and organised during a time of the simple hunter-gatherer lifestyle. The Yonaguni Monument is a mysterious temple-like structure buried beneath the waves off the coast of Japan. Professor Masaki Kimura from the University of Ryukyu, who has studied the site for some time, says he can identify several monuments, roads, a pyramid and even a stadium within the complex. Kimura believes that the mysterious city may have been built some 2,000 to 3,000 years ago in an area that was originally above sea level. Some time later it became submerged after tectonic activity caused the land to sink. Some believe that this mysterious sunken city may be proof of the lost continent of Atlantis. First discovered in the 1930s by the United Fruit Company while clearing the jungle for banana plantations, these gigantic stones are near-perfect spheres. To date, no one has been able to say exactly what they are or where they came from. However, it is suggested that they may be up to 1400 years old. Originally thought to be filled with gold, one myth suggests that these mysterious stone balls were originally from the lost city of Atlantis. Another says that Tara, the god of thunder, used a gigantic blowpipe to shoot the balls at the gods of the winds to drive them away from the area. Some believe the makers of these spheres possessed a potion that could soften the rock from which they were made. Scientists now speculate that these gigantic balls may have lined the pathways leading to the tribal chief's dwellings, or had some sort of astronomical significance. As the history of the people who made them vanished after the Spanish conquest, we may never know their true origin. Such perplexing mysteries. As always, thanks heaps for watching. If you're enjoying the content, hit that thumbs up button. Let's try and get this video to a thousand likes. Remember to follow us on Facebook and Twitter for daily Did You Know Facts. And this is the Schlapperm Shining. World.